Hello and welcome back to Flashback. Doing the doing some stuff today. So we had 300 votes last week. Start with the last place, elves with 43. Poor elves. Poor elves. Never never gets featured in in uh, Flashback yet, but uh, that gets out of there. We had then had Merfolk in second last with 55. So also the other tribal deck just barely hangs on. We then had Grixis Control with 100 votes, which is a third of the votes. Yeah. And Doran <laughs> with 102 votes. Oh. Normally, nor- like, because, cause, I mean, I, I vote in the thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, normally, my vote doesn't really matter. Kind of mattered this time. <laughs> I actually did vote for Doran. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I would have voted for Grixis Control, we'd have a tie on our hands. That's crazy to think about. Yeah. Anyway, so you're playing Doran. I'm playing Doran. Uh, next week, voting is going to be Merfolk, Grixis Control coming back, and then we have Turn 2 Infect, which is a deck we just played um, last week, so you can check that out. For our patron. Yeah, yeah, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of alterations I, I would like to make to that yeah, deck. Yeah, it was so. originally a budget list that he gave yeah. us, so we'll yeah. see if we can upgrade it mm-hmm. a little. But I like the idea of, like, a, a Salt Strobe or, like, Teamer. Basically, it's like the red version of Berserk. Mm-hmm. In fact, which Giving is pretty cool. Strike. Yeah. And Embantment Control, which is another Patreon deck. So that's two different Patreon decks that are in the thing. But uh, that was one of Kree's Debs. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you'll be going first since you're the Challenger deck, and we'll see you in game one. All right, game one. Go ahead. We've got... Those... Whoop. And for myself, that's pretty saucy. And one of those. All right, lead us off. Burton Catacombs. Crack that going to 19. We're going to find a Murmuring boss. Ooh. And we will reveal a Trefo Carpenter so it comes into play untapped. Yep. Do you think you know what my turn one play is? Well, I don't know why you're shuffling then. <laughs> Free folk Harbinger. Yeah. He will find a Doran. Sounds good. Classic, classic tree folk play. Lead Harbinger. Fetch Doran off Murmuring Bosk. Doesn't get much better than that. Should have a tricolored land. Yeah. That it's pretty fetch. sweet. Even with a fetch land, too. You can just go find one. Sweet. Trigo. Draw a card. Okay, well, we're going to play in a bowl of water, and we're going to spill out that water, and there is a Mausoleum Wanderer in there. Pass turn. Draw turn. He was wandering around in the bowl of water. Lost and confused. Yep. Planes. Tapping for a black, so we're going 18. Sure. Bye-bye. You got a bob. Turbo. Can't do a lot about baub. Draw a card. Well, wow, I didn't really need two of those, but that's okay. So we're going to spill out this bowl of water again. And uh, here's another mausoleum wanderer in there. Ooh. But the cool thing is, this is a spirit entering the battlefield. So yeah. it pumps this one. And I get to attack you for two in the sky. 16. Which is pretty cool. Um, And then I got a very unexciting... I mean, it's a cool land. Bullet's horn land and all. But just play an island. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Ooh. Got it. Draw turn. That could have been bad. You could have hit the one of fun of Ishkana. <laughs> yeah. That's, or the one of... Uh, Tassiger. Tassiger. Yeah. Tassiger is pretty bad, too. Yeah. Normally, he costs one mana, but he does hurt half of a bob. See how much you want me to not see your hand. Inquisition. Do I trade two Mausoleum Wanderers <laughs> for that? I don't think so. Or do I? Ugh. Why do you make life so difficult? <laughs> That's just rude. Nah. Oh. I kind of wish this was the one I had redundancy of, but instead I got two Trinket Mages. Yeah, and the two trinket mages means taking walking ballista is not really going to work out. So, yeah. yeah, we're going to take the lord there. Yeah, that that would be an incredibly tough decision. Mm-hmm. Did you take your beat off that since you had to tap the boss? Oh, sorry. 
14. Two beats. Hmm. That's fascinating. I mean, I guess, you know, I have a walking ballista so I can shoot that down, but I only have three mana. Hmm. Do I trade a Wanderer for that? I think I do. Trade. Enter go. Bob's annoying. Uh, that would that could have been okay, I guess. Um, Tacky for one. Thirteen. And here's a Trinky. And we'll go fetch something. It's probably gonna be Basilisk Collar. So fetch that, pass turn. Untap. You should have let you have Bob. <laughs> oh. Is that like a six mana thing? <laughs> I am so glad you did. I make Bob. the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> well, the thing is, you only have two things that cost yeah, a ton of mana, exactly. so the odds of you hitting one Think... are pretty bad. It would have worked out that one. Greatness at any cost. That's what they say. I wonder, I had that Basilisk Caller in play for a long time while I was shuffling. I wonder if anybody already <laughs> made a comment saying, That doesn't put it into play. It puts it in your hand. Cheating. Cheating. <laughs> Tapping it for green this time. Yep. Doran the Explorer. Yeah. You got it. Three beats. I will take three beats. Go to 17. Enter go. Since that's not a very optimal trade. Draw a card. Oh, I needed that to be a land pretty bad. Hmm. Hey, you have a trinket mage. You can go fetch your land. I can. That's true. And I think I might, honestly. <laughs> do I do that? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Do I do that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trinket mage. Go fetch the one of Darksteel Citadel. Which is probably going to be on the top. And where else would it be? Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close down the top. Play that as our land for the turn. And we'll cast that Basilisk Collar. You knew about from earlier. And you're at 13? Yes. Of course, that's a lot of damage coming back my way. But I also have this Basilisk Collar, which trades pretty well for a Doran, so maybe maybe this turn I just attack you for one in the sky. Twelve. And pass the turn. Because I can hook up the Collar and trade anything for a Doran, which seems pretty good. Rough turn. So I'll just t take some lumps this turn. Take my lumps. Noble Hierarch. Yep. Who could actually attack now, it's, thanks to Doran. It's true. I mean, he could before, thanks to Exalted. But... Yes, yeah. <laughs> but even in a group, you yeah. can still deal the damage. It's true. Eight. I will take eight, go to nine. Take my lumps. Dry Darber. Ooh. All right. It's pretty saucy. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Man. Okay. What do I do here? Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess that would be pretty good. Or we could do this, which is not as good. Hmm. Does that make anything else worse? A little bit. I suppose. I'm gonna go for a Ballista on two. Okay. And... I'm going to... I don't think I need 
quite this. Uh, maybe I do, because you do have the Chambling Vent also. Gonna attack you for two. You just played this, right? Yeah. yeah. Attack you for two. Going ten. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Um. One, two, three, four, five. It's an Ishkana. You don't have another land. You know what? On your draw step, I think I will shoot Hierarch. In response, green. Yep. Black. Abrupt decay that. Ooh. Yep. Can't do much about that. You can have that back. <laughs> no, I Put that all, in my all the way across. <laughs> I gotta remember that next time. All right, there's no removal spells in this deck. Damn. It's like, and I'm gonna kill. <laughs> Do that with like lightning bolts. Like literally, just throw them at your opponent. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Ah. Eight. Can attack me <laughs> for eight. Okay. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually, I have been to tournaments where people have been very evasive or invasive with their uh, <laughs> attacking like creatures. Putting their attacking yeah, creatures on basically. Top. Oh, is this how you're blocking? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. I don't. Okay. Uh, what do I do here? Do I take three lumps and just chump with a wanderer? I don't really want to trade two things for a harbinger. That seems pretty <laughs> poor. So I think we just Does Wander have more value than a trinket mage? Probably. Actually. Ah, oh, but you blew up my thing, which kinda of turns off the whole plan. Hmm. Chump there. Take three. Take three. Go to six. Take some lumps. Oh, sorry. I'm going to block <laughs> this one. <laughs> no, that one, actually. Yeah, block well, this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goif. Ooh, that's probably pretty big. Instant I have two things. creature, sorcery, land, artifact. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the only different thing. Five, six. Five six. For really just six power. Yeah. After that's real. a that's a big fat boy. Who again I can't do anything about because Wanderer doesn't really care. That might have been sweet. Was that sweet? I don't know. Was that sweet? That might have been sweet. Uh what could it be? Here's a familiar. Yeah. Here's an architect. Oh Yeah, sweet. <laughs> That's that's the sweet bit. Um, two, four, Make six, walking eight, five, five. We have eight mana. Can't make him a five, five. I'm gonna make him a five, five. Cost four to put a counter on him. All oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Can only do it twice. Only three, three. That's yeah. not exciting. No, not not nearly as exciting. Um. Okay, now that... Do you have a worm coil? Now that I have judges... Uh, I do. Yes. Worm uh, coil. Yeah. There's the annoying bit. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's probably the right one to leave out. So... Here, ten. Hmm. I guess this actually does sort of change the math. But do I need this to chump block? Oh, you still got that land, so I think it might. Although you get six life back lifelink unless you have something. Oh, life is life is hard. I'll pass the turn. Untap. I don't think I actually can do that. 
Rough return. Fortunately, Tarmogoyf's the same size as Wormcoil Engine, so he's gonna kill him. As long as you keep that Doran around. The other cool thing about this deck, it's one of the few decks you can get a tribal spell in your graveyard for Tarmogoyf mm -hmm. and Delirium, so that's pretty awesome. Six. Hmm. Hmm. Will he make the trade or will he jump? Here's the thing, though. Mausoleum Wanderer for two mana is actually important. But I guess I can just turn these blue also. But he also pops into two creatures, which gives me even more mana. Which is pretty sweet. And it's not really a chump. It is a trade. Because he does have Death Touch and Lifelink. Yeah. I'm going to put the Worm Coil in front of it, Pop. I think. Pop it. So I gain 6. Going to 12. And I get a Lifelink Worm and a Death Touch Worm. I don't actually have the two Worm Coil Engine ones. So we'll make the happy one with a smile on its face is the Lifelink. And this one is terrifying, so it's Death Touch. And... Since a creature died this turn. Oh, interesting. Fatal push the Grand Architect. Oh, that, I think, killed my entire plan. <laughs> Unless I get another. Well, actually, yeah, you got three mana. I can't even counter it. Yeah, I was worried. Oh, I actually, think. can I? No, I can't, because that's not a spirit. Damn. Because this one technically right now is a 2 2. Yeah. So but that one doesn't get the two, pumps. But I still have three yeah, mana. I still have three mana. Ah. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? This is so important to keep this alive that I think... You don't have any mana. I don't no, know. but I can shoot the Dryad Arbor. <laughs> oh, no, but you just, you just do it in response. Yeah, you just do it in response. What am I thinking? Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's real bad. Yeah. Ugh. Two cards in hand? Okay. Are you, are you done? Yeah. Untap. Draw a card. Man. Yeah, I was worried you weren't going to take that. Yeah. It sucks. I figured maybe you'd wait until you could pump it to a 7 power. Nah. Of course, if you had attacked with it, I would have probably blocked with it with Dried Arbor and then Fatal pushed my own Dried Arbor yeah. so you didn't get blue mana <laughs> or the life. Ah. Yeah, that would have been I don't know if that would have been enough, actually. but it would have been funny. It's true. It would have been funny. Um, so you're at 10. Right? Yes. And you've kind of gone back up there, thanks to that yeah. worm coil. Two. Eight. Even though they're giant trees, they don't have reach. It's true. I'll make a three three. Because <laughs> <laughs> of Doran. <laughs> He's not very helpful, is he? No. Um, and that's it. Pass turn. Untap. Drop return. Yeah, as long as I still have Death Touch you up, you don't have a great attack. At least with Doran. Or really anything, because everything else has three. Three. <laughs> do I trade Lodestone Golem? <laughs> or do I take three? Uh, I take three. Who am I kidding? I'll go to nine. Andrew, go. I don't want you pushing again. Untap. Draw. I guess that's not terrible. Hmm. That's lifelink worm? Yes. Attack with two flyers and a lifelink worm. Nameless inversion 
lodestone golem. For three mana. Oh, do you also have a path? Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is so much removal. Uh, yep. Yep. I mean, I guess I could have saved him, but he's just a three, essentially three power. That's Locked not great. Um, I actually want to trade for this Doran. I think I want to try to pump. Yeah. Let that happen. So he has three damage on him. Yeah. I gain three life. Go to 12 again. And you take two in the sky. Six. And you may continue. Well, that means your turn. Oh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Then... If you want to pass, I mean, I'll take it. And damage can fall <laughs> off. But... Um... You're at six? I'm at six. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think I care about Thorin. Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't have sent that in, because yeah, I was planning to do this to finish off Doran, but I didn't actually realize I would put you all the way down to six. So I actually think that my plan has changed since I started it. So, pass turn. Untap. Doesn't seem that good anymore. That Rough attack. turn. I guess it gave me three life. Windswept heat. So it wasn't completely useless. My worm <laughs> just ran into a tree. Find a forest. The other thing, of course, I could have done there is save the Lodestone Golem by sacrificing both these. But they are also kind of my win condition, since you can't block them. So, <laughs> not not probably not worth the trade to keep a 3-3 around. Eh, it probably was. Ooh, Ishkana. Ishkana. Right. <laughs> and we don't have spiders. So here's a bunch of 1-2... Was one two. You have three. delirium for sure. Oh yeah, you got a tribal instant in yeah, there. Yeah, I got so. a tribal instant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily. Okay. Creature land. Yep. Sorcery. Tribal instant. Yup. So of course all the spider tokens also have reach, right? Yes. Yes. Good. Are you gonna and send in some dudes? Three beats. I'll take that. Good nine. Back to nine. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Man, why do I have to have, like, terrible mana for everything? It sucks. Yeah, that's why I had to kill Lodestone. I had to ho also hope for land. Yeah. Lodestone is making it impossible for me to get down Ishkana. Sure. So, terrible attacks. You're at five. Doesn't seem great. Still got this death touch guy. Ugh. So bad. Pass turn. Untap. Drop for turn. I don't think I can outrace this. Pretty sure I can't. You should kill that Doran. Eight. Hmm, just like that, huh? I'll block Doran with Death Touch Worm. Okay. And take three. Go to six. Thorn down. Do you got another one? I got another one. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> Doran! Yep. Pump him in response. And. No, let's do it. No. Yeah, it's still gotta be like that. Enter go. Tap. Draw a card. Where were you? Well, I guess... Ethereum Sculptor. Can make all things cheaper. Yeah. All those artifact spells you're casting. Almost. Almost lived the dream. Still got terrible attacks, so... Fast turn. Untap. Rough return.
Hmm. Still two mana off from uh, spidering me, so not too worried about that. I think we have to just swing all out. Try an arbor too, huh? Okay. Then we have to. I'm gonna pump this first, just so it's a little bigger, a little bigger of a boy. These are all two. That's Those, a three. Yeah. That's a three. This um, one. This I, is five. You've used your nameless inversion, so I'm not too worried about that. But the thing is, if you have any removal spell, well, if you have any removal spell, I'm dead anyway, right? Because, yeah, okay. So we'll put a Trinket Mage in front of Sapperling. We'll put Ethereum Sculptor in front of Dryad Arbor. Um, and then I'll... Just chump these two. It's two, four, five, six, seven. So I do have to block this with ballista. I guess I don't have a choice. So I will do that in front of that. Yeah. And I'll take four, going to two. Mm hmm. And then, so these both die. This stays alive. That trades for a sapperling, and this eats a dryad arbor because it's a two power. And you got me. Yeah! Woo! Okay. I didn't have any way to, If I had drawn an untapped black source, yeah. I could actually activate this and attack uh, with it. Sure. But Murmuring Boss life. was my only... Yeah. And then going forward doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not in my uh, favor. It worked. I'm glad it did. Draw a card. Come on, guys. <laughs> guys. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Halfway yeah. there. So, yeah. If you, if you missed why this works, pump this to five. Now that he's fresh and doesn't have any damage on him, shoot you for five. And dead. Woo! It's excellent looking mere appearance in my hand. <laughs> well, that was actually a really close game. Big fan of it. And mm -hmm. we'll see you in sideboards. All right, sideboard time. So, uh, we have our little Trinket Mage package here. Don't have to bring in a ton of these. In fact, I don't think I actually want any. Um, you do have some Lilianas in your deck, so Hex, Parasite, and Pithing Needle would be fine, but I really don't think I care about them all that much, either. So, and Chalice isn't good unless I put it on three, in which case I need six mana. That's a lot. I could put it on one, but, meh. Um, don't really care about Graveyard. Your deck doesn't as much. Uh, Relic might be okay, because it turns out Delirium and makes Goyf smaller, but I don't think it's worth bringing in just for that reason. So I don't think any of this package will come in. Stubborn and Isle's Spell Pierce are pretty terrible, um, in this situation, since you have a lot of creatures and, like, Abrupt Decay is one of the only things I don't want to counter, but I can't anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Worm Coil Engine, it served me well last game, but I don't think I want to bring those in. Dismember, definitely, because I don't have any removal... Really, in my main deck, and uh, if you manage to like land a Doran, and uh, I have no answer at all to it other than like Vidalcan Shackles, I, I think I want some dismembers. Also, it kind of hits pretty much everything in your deck. Goyf can get a little bigger, but it also hits Ishkana, which is good. Um, so I'm gonna bring in those two, and I'm just gonna take out two Copters. This doesn't seem super strong in uh, in this particular matchup. It is nice that it flies, and I can push some extra damage, damage cards, but but it's yeah. I, I think I'd rather have Dismember than these. So, these out, these in. As for me, we have quite a bit of ways to deal with artifacts. Definitely want the paths in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because we have we only have two main board. Kind of need to deal with those worm coils, and path deals with that rather well. Mm -hmm. So, definitely bringing those in. Thoughtseize, probably want these. Can hit all of the things in his deck, and we're running two collective brutalities, which don't really yeah, do they don't need anything. this deck. They'll hit these two dismembers I put in. <laughs> so, that just seems like a great upgrade. Stony Silence is great. Deals with Walking Ballista, deals with his equipment, deals with Snowmogglers, Coppler, even though he's taking most of them out. Don't really need the Wraths. Have one of each, because why not? <laughs> Maelstrom Pulse could be okay. It can hit all of his things, but I don't think we need it. 
Cannonball, pretty terrible. He doesn't have any instant sorceries. Don't really need the life gain. Nature's Claim, I think we want to bring one in, but we don't need both. And Rest in Peace, he doesn't really use his graveyard, so no, no need for those. As for what we're taking out... Two Lilianas. He's just got so many 1-1 one -one flyers that he can easily sacrifice that this isn't ever going to hit anything relevant. Mm. And he can dump his hand pretty fast, so making him discard is not going to do a whole lot. Collective Brutality, as I said, pretty terrible in this matchup. Especially since the two lords we want to deal with have three toughness, so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even kill the things that we'd like to kill. One Siege Rhino. It's just one of the bigger, more expensive cards. Don't want to hit it with Bob. And Tassiger, for a similar reason. Just don't <laughs> really want to hit it for Bob, but we still want the card draw from Bob, so cutting him. Makes sense. All right. So that was that, and we'll see you in game two. All right, game two. Go ahead. We've got... Those. Whoop. And for myself... Not the most exciting hand, but it might do some stuff. And we're on the draw. Which is good. Temple Garden tapped. Here is a Judge's Familiar. <gasps> Go ahead. He's going to judge. Yeah. Untap. Draw for turn. If you're not familiar with this card, you can sack it to counter an instant or sorcery unless you can control or pays one. Print cat counts. Is it good? I will let you be the judge of that. Crack that. We're gonna find a murmuring bosk. Ooh. I assume you're probably gonna reveal something. Since that'd be pretty bad. Doran. Ah, okay. That could be better for me. And going to eighteen. Bob. Bob. You got a Bob. What about Andrew. Bob? Untap. Draw a card. It's one of those, I guess. Uh, let's play the other Bolus Horns Island. And why not? Here's a Smuggler's Captor. Even though we took two of them out, here's another one. Um, is it worth getting in for one? Or do I save this back to block? Probably not. So I'll attack you for one. 17. Fast turn. Because even if you okay. even if you uh, door in this turn, Bob's land ah, the worst. Even if you door in this turn, Thunder. that just shrinks Bob anyway. If you do a pre-con debt, so <laughs> not too worried about taking two from Bob. Verdant. Yep. Tube from Bob. Eighteen. And burnt crack on sixteen. Find swamp. Mm -hmm. So if I learned anything with Bob from last game, is that I should probably just let this live forever and let you kill yourself. Because <laughs> last be time I last time I over prioritized it, and then he drew like a five drop <laughs> that you would have bobbed into. It's not great. Doran. Yep. You got him. Drago. That's the man. Draw a card. Okay. I guess. Then. Here's an island. Here's a card you might be familiar with. Doesn't look familiar. <laughs> well, don't, don't be quick to judge. <laughs> uh, we'll crew the copter with the fresh one here. And we'll attack you for four in the air. That triggers, so I draw a card. And if I do, I discard a card. Which will probably, honestly, be that card that I just drew. Well, maybe not. It's going to be a lodestone golem. And then, yeah, four in the air. Yeah, go to 12. And because why not, 
Here is a walking ballista on one. Now pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Ugh. Man. Should have killed Bob. <laughs> of course, as soon as I do, you're going to like have an ember cool on top, even though it's not on the list. Six. Six. Uh, am I racing? Is that what we're doing? Is this a race? I think it might be a race. Yeah, sure. Twelve. You only live once. Planes. I guess three times. It is a match. Lingering souls? Yep. Uh, is that good? Need... I mean, you could... I could. That's a terrible counter, because <laughs> I have to sack two birds. Ah, you got <laughs> I guess you'll probably need more. I already had a pile, but... Oh, did you? Okay, well... You got them first, so... (laughs) They were right next to me. That's very good against my game plan, also. Trico Carpenter. Yep. I'm gonna go find this forest. Sure. And put it on top of my library. (laughs) Yep. Enter, go. Uh, Okay. (laughs) Draw a card. Uh, I mean, you do have the walking blister, so you could just deal with Bob. It's true. I'm not sure I want to quite yet, though. There's an island. Uh, hmm. Four mana. Okay. I think we're gonna go for a trinket mage, and then yeah. we'll go searching for a basilisk collar. Could be pretty spicy. You could. Then we're gonna copter it up. I'm gonna yeah. attack you for three. Chump. Uh, just before I get to draw on whatever I guess. first. I don't think it's relevant, but in case it is. Ooh, do I want that? Uh I think I might. Maybe not. So you got four. We'll discard a mausoleum wanderer. Okay. Yep. So. Block. You're gonna, <laughs> You're gonna attack with this. <laughs> Send in the copter. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Okay. So then. Uh, I did not play land this turn, right? Because you missed one at some point, did you not? I don't think so. Did I play land this turn? You must have. Must I have? Okay, that's fine. Because, I mean, Bob's been seeing lands all days, remember? Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess you put one on top with Harbinger, too. That's annoying. Yeah, so you know there's yeah. another one coming. <laughs> Here's a color. Uh, that's it. Go. Yep. And Untap. that's a pretty good combination. Upkeep. I remember if I played uh, hey, look, it's a land. Wow, shock. To rough return. Followed by a six drop? Or... <laughs> Overground tomb tapped. Swing. It's all them, huh? Um, you're at twelve. Yes. I think I just jump the door and and take four going to eight. Because at this point, <laughs> unless you unless you like s- totally next leveled me and have another harbinger or something, one green, you do. For no okay. <laughs> Enter go. 
All right. Untap. Draw. Okay, I shouldn't have kept that island, I guess. Um, that's fine, though. So, what are we dealing with here? You still have that spirit, so you can still chump block. I'm at eight, so three, four, five, six. Okay. Copter. Draw. And I think this is the worst one, so discard a Dark Steel Citadel. Block. Deal. Um, can probably afford to wait one more turn. So you're gonna play Island, Fifth Land. Oops. That went flying over there for some reason. And a Lodestone Golem, which is an impressive three power guy. Got three power. Yeah, very impressive. Pass turn. End of your turn, I'm gonna push him since you killed my spirit. Yep. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> gonna be one of those <laughs> games, huh? Untap. There's always I always have removal. Should I should better. I should know better. I should just assume that even if I play six creatures and you have so, one card in hand, you're gonna kill all of them. <laughs> still worth it. Yeah. Only one life. Beautiful. That's what we want to see after we reveal. <laughs> oh man, so bad, so bad. Swing, jump door. Three, four, five. Go to three. And this is the part where you now kill my ballista. Also, is it, are we at that part in the in the match? Flashback souls. Sure. And... Bring catacombs. Yep. And we'll cast a Lingering Souls. Alright, I'm definitely <laughs> dead now. You drew the... That's like the best card against what I, I was... I'm like, okay, yeah. well, I'll just assemble some them. flyers. And, <laughs> and then you draw both of their only flyer creators in your deck. Oh, well. That's 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 what it's like playing against you. <laughs> Enter go. Untap. Draw. I'll look another flyer. Uh, yeah, I'm just like dead in the air, huh? I guess technically you can, not. You can ping two flyers. I mean, then you have to deal with the Doran. Yeah. I guess technically I'm not dead in the air. Damn. Okay. Well, it was a good it was a good run. Here's another judge's familiar. Oh, there you go. Got another flyer. Fortunately, I have to collar up the ballista, which means I can't play this, which sucks. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Gonna crack this. Going to ten. But I guess this could maybe theoretically weird, be I drew it just all over in catacombs for fetch lines. Huh. That is weird. Oh yeah, you've gone through three of them. Jeez. Jeez. Wanna cut my deck? No. For Bob? I don't. Oh, for Bob? Yeah. For Bob, yeah. Uh, you probably already have all your expensive scar cards, but this one's gonna be real expensive. Greatness at any cost. Untap. Upkeep. Sure. I mean, hey, it could potentially have dealt three <laughs> damage to me. Yeah. Sure. Why not? So you can shoot Bob, or you can shoot Doran, block Bob, block two flyers, and then you don't have a board. So I think that's fine. Swing. All right. So, meh, 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 meh. Yeah. All right. Uh, or hmm. Yeah. 
I do those two. Do those two. I mean, just take two. Deal. Deal. Sucks. Sucks. Sucks, Sucks a lot. lot but, but hey. What, what can you do? do? Well, actually, no. no. I don't, I don't have, have to do it that way. way. Do, do I? Because I, so I can go, go put, put this in front of Bob. Bob. I guess, I guess it's, it's the same, same result, result, really. Yeah. yeah. You could block the smuggler's copter. You could. Actually, yeah, that doesn't seem terrible. Okay, okay so, so before blocks, blocks then, I'll we'll activate, activate the copter with that one. We'll go two spirits. We'll put Ballista in front of Bob. And then before damage, we will... I probably want that trigger first. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Unless you want that card. I, I no, I don't. Actually, Actually I, want I want this more than this, than this so we'll, we'll discard Mirror Superior. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. So, so he's blocking, blocking there. there. Yeah. And, and then before, before damage, damage, I'm going to shoot Doran. Doran with Doran. Doran. Go to four. And then that, that trades with the spirit. spirit. This chumps or spirit, spirit gets eaten by this, and then I take two. He fizzles to a zero three. So I go to two. They're all said and done. And, and I've got, got a copter and any familiar left. Not, not ideal. Do I care about the card in your hand enough to thought seize? Probably not. <laughs> I think we'll just flashback lingering souls. Yep. Not a lot there. I can do. And here's a siege tower. Alright. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> That's, That's your, your draw? draw? Really? Uh, with, with five, five mana? mana? Uh, uh, I mean, you could attack, attack maybe, maybe draw, draw land. land. Yeah, but that still doesn't even really... No, I don't think alive. six does enough. Two, three, yeah, probably, probably not. Cause, damn. damn. So what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. We're gonna try it. Attack, draw, discard, lodestone column. Um. Do I want the extra power? Yeah, I'll take it. Go to six. Okay. There's no tasker left, so. Boom! Boom! Boom goes the too late dynamite. Test turn. I think. Probably. 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 probably too late. Or you, or you probably, probably just have a path. path. Upkeep. Upkeep. Inquisition. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna do a lot. <laughs> Forest. Swing. So four. Four, four in the air. Yep. yep. I can, I can still, still swing on the ground and kill you, right? Doran, so you block No, you, you got me. You definitely got me. I mean, I mean easily got you in the air, but... Maybe as well would you hit off Bob again? Inquisition. Right. right. Yeah, because then I just do this. I gain six, go up to eight, but then I still take three, four... Which just cancels out five, five, and then you yeah. still take three. Yeah, yeah. so still going to negative one. The safe one would just be to four. That's boring. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we will see you in game three. All right, game three. Show my hand. That's what I got. Very unexciting. Go ahead. We've got... Those. So, here is a bowl full of water, and we're going to spill out that bowl... And there's nothing in it. Go ahead. <laughs> Rough turn. Obviously, I'm not bluffing a counterspell or anything, because they don't have any in the deck. I mean, they're sideboarded, but... True. In this particular part of the deck. Bosk. Yep. It's pretty boss. And this may look familiar. From game one. Harbinger. Yep. Thoran. You got it. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. I guess that's fine. Here's an island. Here's a chief. I will convoke out a basilisk caller. Pass turn. 
At least I got some use out of it before you kill it. Untap. Rough return. Bring catacombs. Yep. And a black. Mm hmm. Inquisition you. Oh. Going 18. Inquisition. Intriguing. That's what I've got. So you have another one of those. But we could take him. Yeah. Definitely, I think, the right call, because there would be a lodestone next turn. And crack this, going to 17. Of course, you probably also just have a push or something. A lot of things you could have. Overground Tomb untapped, going to 15. Yeah, he's going to get pushed. Yep. <laughs> Drago. Uh, go. <laughs> Hierarch. Yep. Drago. Hey, at least you missed one, too. I said something. Wanderer. Go. and sorceries. Yeah, they're all just they can't counter anything else. I was wondering if maybe he was different or not. No. He's only different because he can get bigger. With other spirits. Green, black, white. Yep. Thorin. Mm-hmm. Three. Yep. 17. Enter go. Give me some good. Or some else I can't cast. Quip Caller, go. Untap. Rough return. This was actually four damage, the exalted trigger. Oh, you're right. Sixty. Huzzah, land. Must be nice. Four. Yeah. Twelve. Bobby. Yep. Oh, more. There is more. Goyf. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Enter go. Untap. Draw card. Island. Uh. And a much too slow Vidalcon Shackles. Pass turn. Now, I think my, my only hope here is that you bob yourself to death. <laughs> Uh, Goyf is, I have creature, instant, land, sorcery, four. It's a five, really. But, four power. Four power. So, Bob Trigger, the path. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that about solves all my worries. Five, six. Rough turn. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead in one hit. Go to 13 to path that. Uh, screw you. Pay another one. <laughs> you know what? I'll refuse. Okay. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 15. 15. All right. Oh. Can't do a thing. Thought those would be pretty good, but you were able to take care of both of them before I could get any value out of them. So that's what happens. All right, so, uh, yep, don't forget to vote. Uh, next week, the deck will face up against this monstrosity, and we will see you on Friday with our regular scheduled video. Bye. <laughs>